Developing tonight, another Philadelphia school tainted by asbestos. It was discovered last month, but students have not been moved. Now, parents are very angry and very frustrated. They feel like they've been ignored. As Kimberly Davis reports, they want action now and have their children put in different buildings. They just don't need to be there. It's unhealthy. It's wrong. Parents of children who attend Pierce Thomas M School in North Philadelphia are fed up. The school district of Philadelphia says asbestos was found in pipe insulation in the basement hallway. Tamitra Foreman's 10 year old daughter attends the elementary school. The school district is not playing their part. The school district dropped the ball when they did not inform the parents of what was going on within the school. The district says abatement work is complete, but will hold another meeting with parents Monday afternoon at 3.30 inside the school. State Senator Sharif Street toured the elementary school and says he has his own concerns. If you had to move the kids, that makes sense. Um, but uh, that's really up to the district. I just want to make sure that they do it safe and the current situation is unacceptable. Antoine Little agrees with the senator. In fact, Little removed all three of his children from Pierce. Students from two center city schools were all relocated once asbestos was discovered in their schools. Little believes parents in North Philadelphia are not being treated fairly. When you go to SLA and Ben Franklin, Dr. Height came out. He had several meetings at Ben Franklin SLA to talk to those parents about what was going on in the school. What we as parents, we don't qualify for to hear from the head of the school or someone from the board because of where we come from. Little says he'll continue to fight to make sure students in North Philadelphia will learn in safe environments without the fear of grave health risk. Our children shouldn't have to suffer because of their economic backgrounds. Now, the school district originally thought that the building housing Ben Franklin and SLA students would reopen come January, but that's been pushed back to at least February or March at the earliest. Now, earlier this week, both school communities came together with the task force that was formed to discuss options for the families. That task force will meet again come December 13th. We're live outside of the school district of Philadelphia. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you. If